Wedding insurance, there are two types that you can look into. One is liability coverage. The other is for event cancellation. So the ah. liability coverage um, is if you have your wedding at a place that is a venue that normally doesn't do weddings, a farm, a winery, um, a vineyard, then you may want to have liability coverage, and that can cost you somewhere between one seventy-five, one hundred seventy-five dollars for a million dollars. That happens at the wedding, or is this for something like if, if suddenly the place goes under and is not there anymore? What do you? Both of those things okay. can be covered for event cancellation. A lot of that is usually weather-related. So in two thousand and seventeen, oh, yeah, yeah. forty percent of wedding insurance was to do can't cover cancellations. Property damage is another issue that some people are, are looking into. Something falls on your car in the parking lot of the wedding venue. That theft, another issue. Wedding gifts. Some people want to take them home with them. So is any of this for coverage if you decide to back out? Is that no. the okay that's so the one so the one thing that everyone's asking. So so now if if somebody gets cold feet, if they decide this is not the one for me, I get to, you know, that's good. Get I my thought money this back. was gonna no. be like prenup, but the next form not. of the prenup. I'm it glad to hear that actually. No, that not. gives me more faith in these things. These things are really expensive, uh, the weddings, and so I guess that's why people are getting exactly. involved with this. Exactly. But, but what should people know? What should they think about before deciding on a like you need this. to ask yourself, what am I trying to cover? So yeah. if you're trying to cover, this guy seems great, but I'm not really that sure, don't get wedding insurance, because that doesn't cover that. <laughs> if you're concerned that the DJ might move to another state, or yeah. you know that the, the venue may not be able to be there and provide everything on time because they've had financial issues, those types of things, then you need to get a policy, read the policy, and make sure that that is covered. The other question you have to ask yourself, not only what do I want covered, but what are the limitations and what does this policy really cover? And then look at various carriers to see what how the policies differ. Travelers, Nationwide, Progressive, all of those companies underwrite wedding insurance type policies.